In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create spirals using the Curve Spirals add-on. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm just going to hit delete and remove this cube. Now if you hold down Shift A and then next to Curve, see if you've got something called uh, curve spirals. If you haven't, come up to edit at the top, select this and then select preferences. And make sure the add-ons tab is selected and just type the word extra in the top here. And you'll see something called add curve extra objects place a tick in this and while you're at it i would actually i would add the um add mesh extra options as well comes in handy and just close this down now if you come up to add next to curves or hold down shift a and then again next to curves you'll see something called curve spirals now you've got a couple of options here so I'll just quickly go through a couple of them you've got Archimedean now if you open up this box here by left clicking on the little arrow you've got some options so depends on the quality of the curve that you want to make you'll need to increase this I would take it up to 64 generally but it's really down to you it just makes the quality better um, you've got the option for turns but to see your turns what you need to do is increase the height so you could drag this up and then next to turns you could I don't know let's put four in and that's a basic sort of um, spiral and you could also create this sort of effect by changing the radius growth reducing it or increasing it if you want to change anything back to the default just right click and then select default value so let's looking at this one there's a few options you can do so I'll go through one of the first options I'm just press tab to go into object mode because you'll be in edit mode when you um, edit this and then come down to the curve selection this is like a green sort of curve and select geometry now if you drag the depth up this will give you a kind of tube effect and then you've got the option of filling the end caps if you want so that's one option I'm gonna just hit delete to remove this spiral and again for ease I'll just go to add curve and then next to curve or um, select well next to curve spirals let's go for the um, logarithmic version now this will come out exactly the same as if you've done a curve say when I've done that or a comedian it's actually um, created the same sort of curve so let's reset to default keep this at 64 um, and height reset now if this happens um, restore if you come up to operator presets you'll see something restore operator defaults so that's put me back where I started and with this one again I can increase the height I can increase the turns and 
I don't know, let's put the quality up. In fact, change this to four, quality up to 64. Maybe make the height a bit more. And radius again, or at a radius growth, if you wanted to create a sort of a spiral like this, incidentally it won't this doesn't work very well for snail shapes um, shells because obviously the distances are the same but anyway so I've got that sort of effect um, again tab to go into um, object mode and again I could if I wanted to increase this um, in the geometry maybe increase the resolution to make it smoother again you can play around with this now another option if I delete this one is again I'll go to add curve and I'm going to stick with the Archimedean one so let's select this and restore defaults and I'm gonna drag the radius growth down so I get this kind of effect and then increase the turns now this can happen if this happens you might have to change the radius growth So I'm going to change this to, I've gone the other direction now, and again it's not perfect. It won't, you, it's very difficult to get it towards the middle. You just have to play around with a radius growth until you're sort of happy. And that's about as good as I can get. Okay, change the steps up again if you want to let's go 64 again tab to edit mode and this time I'm gonna hold down shift followed by a or you can go up to add if you want and then next to mesh let's bring in a plane use this button here to drag it out of the way obviously I'm assuming you've got a bit of knowledge of blender so I'm using this move here and select object at the top here and then convert to curve press S and reduce this down in size quite a bit now select your spiral and this time in the geometry box select object and then next object left click and select plane and this will give you a square sort of flat spiral now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to press maybe SX and reduce it down in this direction and then SY and I'll increase it this way and that's given me a kind of flat spring effect and again you've got the option of um, somewhere here fill in the caps if you want doesn't always work you might have to do that um, for some reason this doesn't appear to be working in blender 3 it's not a problem you can always fill the caps um, after you convert so just to, if you're having this sort of problem whatever curve you're going to do if you want to sort of work with your curve you're going to have to select it and then in object select object at the top here and convert to mesh and now if you go press tab to go into 
edit mode you can just select the ends the end vertices and press F and that will fill the ends so one more option in uh, blender so let's just delete this one get rid of this one again I'm gonna press 7 on my numbers pad to go into top view and again either with add or um, shift a gain curve you've got something called curly curves so if I select this it's difficult to see um, if I go into edit mode you've got sort of options here I'll go back into edit mode um, now the problem is once I've done that I cannot show you how to change things so I'm gonna have to go back into edit mode delete this one shift a and curly curves there's presets here so where it says type you can change the type of curve that you want to use so this one might be quite a good one for a gate this one's just curve at the top and one down here depends what you're looking for really this one's quite interesting let's go with this one here I'm going to press tab again just to show you what kind of curve you got I'm not going to go into any more with this one um, I assume you got some knowledge obviously I could if I wanted to select this one and create this kind of effect but the only thing with this is it, it won't create a complete circle probably better off using an object but that gives you some idea of the options you've got in uh, Blender using the curve extras. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.